Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to react to Sanford and Son. Oh my god, this shit. I don't know what's going on with this, but uh, yeah, we're going to react to some Sanford and Son. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, uh, Esther versus Fred, part two. Without further ado, well, part three. Technically, but y'all know what I mean. Let's get right into it. Hi, it's Fred. Listen, I can't go on like this. I need you right away. I know it's just just for a few weeks more, but I can't make it without you. All right, I'll try. But just hearing your voice makes me feel a lot better. Right. Au revoir. <laughs> Until the night. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Where you think I come from? Under a rock. <laughs> Emotional damage. You can't talk yourself out of this when you two time and beady head weasel eyed fool. Damn, son. We caught you red handed. Hey, Lamar, what's you screaming about? Well, Pop, we couldn't help overhearing your telephone conversation. Uh, just now? Mm -hmm. All right, Fred, out with it. Who is she? The zoo diaper. No. <laughs> Please, Esther, let's give Fred a chance to explain. Right on. This could make my whole day. <laughs> Rollo, why don't you go catch a bus in your oh, you get... <laughs> Well, Fred, who were you talking with on the phone? I can't remember. Then I guess I have to refresh your memory. You was telling somebody I can't do without you. I need you. Oh, now I remember. It was the auto club. See, I was telling them that, that I couldn't start the truck. No, you got to do better than that, Pop. I just drove the truck a half hour ago. It's fine. Now, but what happens when, when it uh, conks out on the freeway? And this way, we'd be first in line for a tow truck. Lord have mercy. Is there no hope at all? Not for your face. <laughs> Fred, oh! Don't you understand? Donna, I'm telling you, it's not what you think it is. Oh, no? Then explain this love poem in your handwriting. Oh, that's easy to explain. See, I was just uh, uh, testing out a new pen. Ha! Huh. <laughs> that's how you test a new pen? By writing gushy poetry? It was a fountain pen. Oh. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get jazzy threads you got. And all this talk about Bubba being the best man. I'll explain that. Well? How about tomorrow? Fred, if there's another woman, just tell me. I understand. You know I'd never do anything to hurt you. That's hard for me to believe. Me too. Well, if you don't believe it, it's too bad. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Where are you going now? Well, looking at Esther's face remind me I gotta go empty the garbage. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I bring you the greetings of you, Tide. Ho, ho, ho. Go down to the ocean side and stand in the low tide until the high tide commits suicide. <laughs> Emotional damage. I have the feeling of Christmas. And the face of Halloween. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Esther. Listen, I'm in a hurry. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave? Just put these under your tree, sweetheart. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, here's a present here for you, Pop. You spend money on me? It's not the amount of money one spends on a gift, Fred. It's the thought behind it. Uh, what is it? Who cares? Look <laughs> at If you leave and I'm going with you, I'm going to be I wouldn't get on no part of it. Son. You think you smart, Fred Sanford. But as my Spanish-speaking friends would say, adios, sucker. <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> okay, I really do. Hoping somebody 
somebody we want to see. But you know what? Son, son of a gun. <laughs> how, you, uh, how you feel? I feel fine, Fred. And I ain't got no money to loan. Oh, yeah, we saw this one. We saw this one. The truck. For Fred. I just want to have a confidential conversation with you about Elizabeth. My sister Elizabeth? No, your brother Elizabeth. Damn, your son. Sister and my wife. Now, look, Esther, this is just between me and you. Now, I want to know uh, did, did Elizabeth ever dilly dally while we were married? What's a dilly dally? Well, really, you nigga? You know what I mean? It's like. Did she fool around me? Fred Sanford, you ought to be ashamed to even let something like that come out of your heatedness mouth. <laughs> My baby sister was as pure as the driven snow. Yeah, but who was doing the driving? <laughs> Until the day she died, only someone with a foul mind and a foul mouth could come up with such a foul idea. Fred Sanford, you are foul. You are foul. <laughs> oh. All right. You got that? Got it. <laughs> oh, how's that? Uh, what you doing walking around talking to yourself like a fool? Fool. <laughs> Come here, sir. Huh? Don't move now. Don't move, just be calm. Don't get excited. And don't move to your right. Sort of ease over to your left, son, because I'm positive there's some fungus growing over there. Emotional damage. I don't have to take no insults from you. You sure don't. Just look in the mirror. Until they find some kind of cure for emotional damage. I'm going to ask you if you want me to cook dinner for you and your friends. <laughs> but now, I wouldn't do nothing for you or any of your old sinful friends. <laughs> Lamont, you always welcome to my house. But you, Fred Sample, you old fish eyed fool. Damn. <laughs> Don't you ever. Set foot in my house again, huh? Glory. You old heathen. Damn, son. Uh, hey. That's in your cave, you old bat. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional damage. Your little couch. I know you haven't been dusted in years. My, my. Poor little couch. I bet this is the first time you've been sat on by a buffalo. <laughs> for you to have to stay here and hear the language that comes out of this house. Poor wall, you ought to be glad you ain't got no eyes to see who's talking to you. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> Won't you move your smelly old feet so I can get the nap up on the rug? Why don't you bend over so I can put my foot where to raise a nap on your head? <laughs> <laughs> Why, you old bean-eating, beady-head, bow-hugging donkey. Damn, son. It take a jackass to know a donkey. <laughs> Why, you old oh! bean-eating, you tell me that God you out, you know what I mean? Tell me. I thought you two wasn't going to talk to each other. Well, son, I wasn't going to say a word, but she came down here and tried to turn my sofa and wall against me. <laughs> no, you listen. You see these two fists here? They stereo. And I'm going to put them both in your ears. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, so that's just going to do it for this one. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. We, hey, it's more it's more Sand for the Sun out here, man. It's more Sand for the Sun content on the way. You know how we rock it over here. So, yeah, make sure y'all come back next Sunday. We're going to have some more Sand for the Sun content for y'all. Till then, peace out.